All right, this YouTube video I'm making today with the help of my son is going to explain how I'm going to take the stock muffler off my Honda Silverwing 600 and replace it with a Leo Vince slip-on. First thing I'd like to show you is what has to come off on the stock Silverwing. Obviously, I'll have to take my saddlebags off. And the stock muffler is a big beast. It's very heavy. It's got a cat converter inside, and I'm going to lose about, oh, I think at least 15 pounds. I could probably lose 15 pounds myself, but the bike will be happy to see 15 pounds less of weight. To take this muffler off, and I'll do that after I do the, uh, the first drive-by, I've got a bolt here holding it onto the frame, and two bolts down here. I want to bring that camera down in close. We've got two bolts over here holding the muffler to the exhaust pipe. And as you can see, the stock exhaust comes through here at stainless steel headers into a collector, and the collector is held onto the muffler with a, uh, a slip joint and two bolts here. The other thing I have to mention is mine is a 2009. It has an oxygen sensor, often called a lambda, lambda sensor by our friends in uh, Europe and Japan. And that senses the oxygen level in the exhaust, so it gives feedback to the electronic control, which adjusts the fuel injection. So that will have to come off and get installed on the new muffler. So it's really easy to take that apart. I'll be doing that later. Let me show you the new Leo Vin slip-on. Over here I've got the parts. This is the muffler itself, the canister, it's stainless steel, plastic end pipe. And I don't know if you can see right through, but this is a straight through design. There's internal baffling in it, but it is straight through. There is an internal pipe in here called a decibel killer or DB killer. I'm gonna leave it in for now. Um, I guess the, the advantage of taking it out is if you want more sound to it. I really don't, I don't want too much of a bark, so I'm gonna leave it installed. To take it out, rubber plug underneath, Allen key in the hole, and then there's a set screw inside and the DB killer just slides out. I'm gonna leave that in. If you do decide to take it out, be cautioned in the Leo Vince instructions, you have to fill that uh, vacant hole inside the muffler ring with a special plug so that it doesn't burn the plastic. So be aware of that. I've put the collar in. It's a, a slip collar that goes in behind here that connects the muffler to the connector. Stainless steel, really nice welding on all of this. And this is the bung for the O2 sensor that's going in to replace the uh, original O2 sensor. So I will make sure and use some uh, anti-seize compound in there. I use copper and tighten it down to factory specs and make sure the gasket is in good condition. So this connector just slips inside the collar and we'll adjust it for length later. This tab connects over here and there's a spring that holds everything tightly in place. That's all to be assembled later. This is the carbon fiber attachment that goes around the exhaust and clips onto the frame. Parts even come with a spring puller, so you can stretch that spring. And if you have a 07 or earlier Silverwing, you don't have an O2 sensor. In that case, you would just install this plug into the O2 sensor port and be done with it. So the instructions are quite thorough. Quality is obviously there. Excellent welding, all stainless steel. And as I was saying before, this little piece here are the replacement plugs if you pull out the DB killer out of here. So those are the parts, very light. All right, I'm gonna fire up the swing as it is. It's standard now, stock, we'll fire it up. You'll hear the idle of it, and then I'll take it for a little bit of a ride up and down the street, and we'll go from there. All the gear all the time, even though I'm just going up and down my street, full face helmet, uh, nice high-vis stuff. So let me fire it up. Come around in the back and just get the sound of that up. You can see on here I've got the Jivy top box with the LED lights. While we're at it, I'll just go through the turn signals and stuff with you. First the brake light. This is my add more light bar down here, the add more light bar, so this I've added, this I've added up here. And I'm also running dual LED bulbs in the uh, brake and running lights. In my last videos, I made quite an attempt to cover up my license plate, but realistically, I don't really care. 
it doesn't matter anymore. Got an external temperature gauge in here. Runs on a AA battery. It lasts about 10 months. And today it's a kind of a humid 25 Celsius out. For our American neighbors, that's about 78 Fahrenheit. You'll notice my bike is running with a side stand down. Show them. Side stand up. Side stand down. I've got the side stand bypass installed. And I've just got to be really careful that I make sure to put it up and take off my parking brake when I'm done. Alright, all the gear all the time. Alright, I'm just going to run it a few times. I'm just coming out of the back and get the sound of that uh, muffler jump. All right, the next step will be to let everything cool down, pull the old muffler, install the Leo vents, and then we'll continue with part two later. Part two of the uh, install the Leo vents slip-on muffler, you can have a look, it's done. Have a look down here. Canister is here. We've got the oxygen sensor screwed into its bung. Had to reroute the O2 sensor wire to its connector inside here. Normally this would be underneath the side plastic, but it's a little bit further away, so this has to be exposed, which is not a big deal. Carbon fiber uh, heat shield off the manifold, off the exhaust pipe. Spring holding the couplings together. That's it. It was pretty uneventful. No difficulties. Everything went smoothly. So I'll fire it up. You can hear it, and I'll take a quick blast around the block. bark to it. It's funny because at cruising speed out on the highway it sounds no different than the stock muffler, but it has very little backflow. That's really pounding through there. There's very little restriction and it sounds nice. Get a little bit closer, Jess. Get it closer and I'll give it a flip. Huh? Get it a little bit closer.
things I want to add. This is the first one, apparently the first 8552 in North America. And thanks go out to, first of all, Ryan, at Ryan K at Leo Vince USA. He's the one who actually suggested this for me. The reason being that I've got the side bags on here, the saddle bags, and there was no clearance between the four-road exhaust that he sells and this, so he suggested the slip-on, and it was, is a new item into the States in North America. And secondly, I'd like to thank Tony at uh, bluestreakracing.ca. He's the retailer I purchased this one from. So if you're in the States and you don't have a, a retailer and you're interested in this, get a hold of Ryan at Leo Vince USA. And if you're in Canada, I can highly recommend Tony at bluestreakracing.ca. I have no affiliation with either of those gentlemen or their companies, but I have excellent service from them. That's it for today. Enjoy the video and, uh, and enjoy your silver run.